Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Medicine Creek 19. Your host with uh, maybe not the most, Mr. Blue Rick A. Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing alright? This episode is going to be pretty much about Field 60. Um, it finally stopped raining. It was like, I don't know, 11, 12 o'clock when it started raining. Uh, not much, but just enough to hinder, so it finally quit, so you can see up there we still got the wet symbol. But we got uh, Bo from Pitbull Gaming, and, and uh, a couple of his channels he's got, he's uh, one with music and stuff. He, he's down below in the comments, so I'm going to put a tag here somewhere and over here with the other crew we got I think it's Ice Damon and look like Christy a cola and Mr. Yankee and yeah this area is done in mode but they're still getting a little bit up from there Almost got a full trailer bales, well, about a half, a little over half, but we're getting there. They get over here, it's really good. But as you can see, these valleys here, I kind of smoothed out right here, so it's probably going to be what it's going to be looking like. But those there are just too deep. And you're probably looking over here like it looks like it's been plowed. Folks, it has. It has been plowed. That is my first straight shot right there I set up. And of course you're probably wondering like uh, what am I doing on a four-wheeler? If you look real close it's got the GPS on the front of it there. And this is where i done the field boundary. It was driving this thing around and it gets up pretty fast too for a four-wheel drive. Oh, we got one slipping. I wonder who it is. 330 slipping. Whoa, don't hit the tractor. Oh, there's our 4960. Doing some subsole in there. Get this back down here to the truck. And I'm going to go check on and see who's slipping. All right. All right mower had a little bit of complications with being in the, the ditch and I found this guy roaming way over here way off course way 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 off course and I can't get back on the road get back on the road Mr. Blue uh, playing course play and stuff like that you, if you have problems but I had this on follow me Okay, I see one bill. They're knocking this out pretty fast. Um, yeah, there's still some spots that's getting missed, but it'll be all right. Like in these little valleys here. They're just so deep. We want to fill them in. And, uh, of course, I got to do that before I plow, because if I fill them in, then plow. Yeah. Alright, cut back up to them. And back on follow me, you go. And... Okay, where, where's the mower? Okay, there he is, up in that far corner up there. Alright. I'm going to let them get a little bit more of this done, and I'm going to go over and start 
plow. I really need the other tractor on that plow, so I might have to change that out. Alright folks, I am running out of daylight quick. <sighs> I went, got the Ador X well, on the plow. We're running seven mile an hour instead of four mile an hour, so that's a little bit better. I really need another one of these tractors and another plow. Or some sort, I can say. But this, this is what we use in our area, and they're, they're kind of like this, but it goes in the ground a whole lot deeper than this. These are, these are four foot long, about three foot of it goes into the ground. But I ain't seen none of the eight or exits around here yet. These are like the... 8520s or whatever they are, and quite a few 8400s, and of course the 4960s and the 8440s. Look at these tall weeds, that's what I want to take out. And pay no attention to the floating tree, it got hung in the collision when I cut it, and yeah. But what we're doing is we're going to plow this, we're going to fertilize it, we're going to come in here and diss it, smooth it out, and probably put some lime on it, and then we're going to replant it in grass seeds. That way uh, we can get better, better fertilization and stuff on it. So... We probably won't get that melts off of this field until beginning of next year. So, it's one of those things we gotta do. Alright. And I'm coming to a spot where I'm gonna have to smooth out, which I can't smooth anything that's on. I don't know if you can see that dirt line up there or not, right over the cab right there. So basically, another brown after this through, then I can start smoothing those trenches out. You, you see them real good right there now. There's one, two, three, and then four. So that's going to take away some of our money. But I'm debating do I buy another combine or do I buy another tractor? I'm wanting to do both. Which I can do both, but then I'll be stuck with leasing field four for another year. So, yeah. And this spot right here is not going to be nothing I can do. Well, I guess I could turn and go down the side of it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. See, but the only way I can get it planted back, so I have to take care of that, but I'll wait till oh, somebody's block. Where is my truck? Oh, I gotta go find some where my heifers are at, so I'll be right back. Alright, it is getting kind of late, folks. So I eased on down here to the cows and give them a hay bale but uh this is 12,000 liters so it might be a little bit too much but we're going to fill the trough see how much actually takes and to start with that's what they got now 733 liters of hay or solid or whatever is in there so they're going to take this time Yep, it's down to 5,370 liters. And we have one slipping. I'm having trouble with them slipping a lot. Let's see here. It's, yeah, they filled up on hay there. The story, 
the soybean straw, I'm going to let it run out so we can get some slurry because I do not see anywhere where the manure is building up. So, I not, might not be able to get the manure out of here. But uh, all the other hay bales have disappeared except for this and a few others here. We've got like three more. As you can see right there in the corner. One, two, three. Plus what's left of this. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go see who's blocking who this time. Alright, I almost forgot to show this bad boy off too, folks. It's a certain new service truck. Hopefully, everything works on it. I have not tested it yet, so, uh, yeah. Well, we won't find out. Our baler needs uh, some work, and our got some tire load on the tractor here, so we're gonna air it up too, so. A unfolds car or folded it. So I I really don't know. Maybe it's that position right there. We'll, we'll get out and see. Come back here to the back. Activate the service function. Which is lifting that back up. Oh, here comes the laptop. Okay, cool. Um, uh, it's been so long I done forgot how to use this. Maybe I go up here. No. There's supposed to be a, a fuel. Start fuel pump. Okay. I don't want to deactivate. Oh, no, no. Hmm. That's it. I don't have no way of, uh, trying to see if I can get a little bit closer shot here, what it says, but that's, that's, that's 17 laptop. I, I just thought you would be right here somewhere. But anyway, I, I will try to figure this out. I, I do like the truck. Well, we can use it for a fuel truck anyway, I guess. Turn the lights off. All right, I'll uh, be back in a second, folks. They, they still out there working. The baler's going to need some attention here pretty soon because it's halfway down. So, uh, yeah, be back in a second. All right, I had to unload the bale trailer. And uh, this is where we're at. Got a couple of spots the plow's missing, but that's quite okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? You don't need to go that way. You need to follow him. Sometimes uh, follow me can get a little buggy. And do that. And I got a phone call. Be right back. All right, after I was rudely interrupted with the phone call, which was just a pharmacy let me know medicine was ready. Um, yeah, I'm over here catching up the spots where the other tractor missed, the 8RX. You're probably like, well, what tractor are you in, Mr. Blue? Well, as you can see, our money's down. I uh, went ahead and purchased the AR, the 2020 version of the AR. It's 400. 410 model or 410 model, whatever how you want to say that, and it is a uh, 458 horsepower, just like the other one. And yeah, uh, 
pulling about the same speed, and this is a, a new plow, just like the one we had. Um, kind of go in an angle like this, and this works pretty good until you get some spots like that. And yeah. That's what I got to work with, folks. I just hope disking and planting this will be better. This is a low spot that I can actually get because I, I can't level the ground over here. So that's what I'm working with. But I don't have too much to catch up on. This the corners. One or two spots over there. And then I'm going to get him working up and down uh, to help speed things up. I still got some spots in the middle to level. You see right there where I level that, and it's still an engine, but at least it's smoother. They, they can drive across it better. And this up here is what I'll talk about on the corners. Since he cuts so short, the plow ain't quite getting all the way down, so I'm going to do it for for this one. Yeah, I, I was going to go with the same one, but Dave didn't have one up there handy. He just had most tire tractors, so I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and take the tire one, but the next one will probably be a track version again. I just like where the tracks hold up and stuff on the ground. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, new tractor. I still have enough money to decide. I think on the combine, I'm just going to lease another one to help out. That way we don't have that big old price tag on us. That we can go ahead and purchase that field and it'll be ours. We don't have to worry about that. But folks, uh, in the next episode, we... It'll probably be the next day in game. Kind of do this corner right here for them. That way I don't have to come back down here so soon. But it will be uh, yeah, the next in game day. And hopefully we will have this done. I'm going to run as long as we can and uh, get it done. The, the uh, baler and stuff won't be no problem because they're let's go in here real quick okay this is kind of looking a little funky 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 down through here but uh yeah we're gonna have to lime this too majority of it so we might well lime the whole thing and we'll go to here and these little spots right here is where I level that so that's all they got left of just doing the mowing anyway and then uh, the baler will you know all them's got to finish up and then on over here I believe I think our grass is ready yep 14132 and around in here is ready uh, field one shouldn't need nothing but lime yeah, 1 and 19 needs lime, and I'm pretty sure 18, 3, and 4 when we get done. I've got the weeds popping up, folks. That's the, ooh, I need to get in there and spray, but I just don't have the uh, tractor, because you see what it does right here, and that will take out quite a bit up and down there. So, yeah. I don't know if I showed you... Center here, and I don't know if I showed you about these or not. We got uh, some buildings to cover our straw and stuff. This is straw, and that is hay. Now, making hay is going to be hard with all this rain that's coming. Might have to just wait till next year. Um, where's my trigger? I think it's. Oh, I'm in it right now. 104 bales and uh, capacity is 132 bales, 8,000 a piece. 
So we got a total of 832,000 liters of straw. And I don't even know. i go over here and show you real quick. Come on, up out of the ditch. Over the fence. Over the fence. There we go. I wish I could run like that in real life. See, there's no manure in this at all. At all. And I, I've walked out here and I don't see no manure out here. So I'm thinking, and as you can see right here, we have 28,000 liters of manure that I can't find. And we're still at 16, but uh, about half a year maybe. We'll be having some calves, so yeah, that's a uh, story. Now, there's a stack of our bales up there. I'm just doing that because I want to keep the bales off this field, and uh, yeah, so this is pretty much all we got left, folks. There goes another bale. I don't know if y'all seen this or not. Pretty sure you have, but I'm showing it again real quick. There we go. Wraps it up. He drops it. He picks it up. There's our mower over there. Just try not to get run over. And yeah, that's what he's got left. This. Oh, uh, get rid of this. Well, that's the plan that he was following. But yeah, he don't, he don't have very much more. Matter of fact, I think I will finish this. But folks, um, that's going to conclude it for this episode. Uh, hope it's not too long. Uh, Fourteen minutes on this and nine on the other. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be about 20, 30 minutes. I was shooting for 15, but it didn't work. So, folks, I appreciate y'all coming out. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you for your support, comments, your likes, your subs. And uh, last I checked, I was at 580, so I got 20 to go. I'll be at 600, so share me with your friends, folks. You think they like this content. No, only if you want to. But anyway... Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next episode, which should be tomorrow morning in game. So, yeah, later.